Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July You versus Them Love Tower reading. So Aquarius, we're looking at you and your person, no matter your situation, circumstance, and we're going to look at the energy between you and them and just see what's going on at this time. All right, Aquarius, I will be putting you here, them here, but you can switch energies around anytime you feel the need to. So Aquarius, we have the Chakra Insight Oracle here. It's going to pull a few for you, a few for them. Let's see what the energies are, and then we'll jump into the tarot. I have two tarot decks. I'll use one for you, one for them. And see what's going on. All right, Aquarius, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in in. Thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. We have Inspiration 4610, which is Full Circle, Completion, New Beginnings, Ideas, Spark, Conception, and Impulse. And creativity, imagination, expression, originality, and passion. Huh, 35-8, travel, action, putting in the work. Feeling very inspired and creative. Hmm, okay, let's see what's on their side. Throat chakra, 29-11. 11 is life path, soul path, energy, you wouldn't reduce that. It's a double number, but ones are about new beginnings. And we have inner child. 18 which is 9 almost full circle completion new beginnings playfulness lightheartedness innocence wonder inner child I feel like a very youthful I don't want to say childish but a very like youthful like lighthearted connection that you're feeling towards each other and this person looks like they're wanting to come out and speak their truth here that you make them feel like a kid again you make them feel very light and light-hearted it, it's just like a very just it feels like light-hearted very innocent light-hearted child-like kind of giddy kind of feeling you get towards each other and for some reason the connection is affecting you in a way where you're feeling more inspired you're having more creativity ideas whether they're just in things that you enjoy maybe in your career or your work somehow this very light-hearted connection is giving you like more fuel more inspiration more creativity more ideas um, feeling more passionate about what you're doing it's like you're feeling more purposeful Huh, okay. All right. Let's see. All right, Aquarius. So we have the Celtic Tarot for you, and then we have the Crystal Visions for them. So let's see what we need to know for you, Aquarius. So I'm going to look at your energy first. Like I said, you can switch them around if you need to. All right, Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius right now? Let's see. The Ten of Cups, feeling like really fulfilled and happy. Page of Wands reversed. Okay, let's see. Five of Pentacles reversed. And the King of Cups. So even, maybe you haven't like uh, come together and confessed to each other yet or really come together um, I don't want to say as a couple, but maybe even come together for for dating or whatever. But there's this energy of the King of Cups of having that feeling. The King of Cups is kind of reserved, a little held back. So maybe there hasn't been feelings talked about yet or, or admittance of feelings, whatever here. But the Five Pentacles Reverse is not feeling lack anymore. So I think Page of Wands Reverse, where maybe you were feeling uninspired before. Now this newfound feeling of love and emotions you're having or feelings towards this person you're coming out of that, helps you come out of that energy with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Coming out of that lack of whatever, you know, spark in your life, definitely here. And feeling Ten of Cups, like feeling really happy, giddy, fulfilled, even if, you know, this hasn't really come together as a true connection yet. Maybe it's about to, let's see. So we've got Pisces and Sag showing up here. All right, so let's see what else do we need to know for Aquarius here. Six of Swords. Nine of Wands. I think you were struggling moving forward. I feel like in your life in general, something about this connection, it really like lit 
something within you. Yeah, in your Empress energy here. I think what it did was it lit the fire, like your divine feminine energy was like relit. And then you're feeling like that fuel and that fire again in your life to, you know, do big, amazing things in your life. The lovers. Yeah, see, there's a connection. Wow. I mean, this could even be a past life connection. But there's a connection that you're feeling and now you feel really empowered. Libra, Taurus, Gemini. And I feel like you may not even be in a, like a true connection with this person yet. Just the energy of it is empowering you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's see. Um, nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you were struggling and now it's just things are smooth sailing ahead for you. But it's from the energy of this connection. All right, let's see. Aquarius, Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. So, yeah, you made it with through some painful things, but the, like, having this, like, this new connection or the energy of this connection has, like, mended all of these disappointments that you were currently feeling. Page of Cups. Hmm. Five of Wands. In reverse, though. Page of Cups could be a romantic gesture, sincere gesture, a proposal of something romantic. You know, maybe maybe you did reach out. Maybe you were conflicted about reaching out to this person romantically. Um, five of Wands, I was saying there's no conflict around this. You could be wondering what would happen if you, like, reached out romantically, if there would be any kind of conflict. I would say no, not with the Five of Wands reversed. The Pisces energy is showing up here. Interesting. All right. Let's do one more row for you, and then we're going to get some clarifiers on the bottom of the deck. All right. I don't like how this fell. All right. So what else do we need to know here for Aquarius? What else do we need to know here for Aquarius? Let's see. Page of Swords. That's Aquarius energy. Three of Cups. Yeah, I don't think you've, like, dated this, even dated this person yet. But that thought is there. Yeah, there's definitely the King, Queen of Cups right there. So you're feeling that connection and the lovers. Interest, we're gonna, interesting to see what we get on their side. The Two of Wands reverse. Like, you know, like, if this opportunity was right here, right now, you absolutely know <laughs> you would, beyond, beyond a shadow of a doubt, would take this path with this person. But we do have the King, Queen of Cups, which is two people who have feelings for each other. So if you're wondering if they do, I would say yes. I'm going to see what we get on their side. Page of Swords, you may be doing, you know, a little research, looking up their social media. Maybe you, you know, want to friend them. Or you're thinking about friending them on social media. Um, or communicating through social media as well. So we do have here, we got another card of Aquarius, Page of Swords. So definitely talking about your energy, Cancer showing up to... See what's on the bottom of the deck for you. By the way, this is the Celtic Tarot. I don't know if I uh, told you that. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, balance. Wheel of Fortune is positive movement forward. Things meant to be. Success, victory, fate, destiny. Knight of Swords, taking action very quick, fast moving energy. And look at this. We kind of got the devil in this Knight of Swords. It's like conquer those fairs quickly. And there's coming through with the truth, clarity. Ace of Swords, a new beginning as well. Knight of Cups, for new in love, courting, dating, getting to know, romantic gestures as well. Okay, Aquarius. All right, so we got your energy, so hopefully that resonates for you. And let's see what we have for their energy. All right, so we have the Crystal Visions here for them. So it looks like they're getting ready here to speak with truth and clarity too about uh, like this light, giddy, happy feeling they feel around you. Jumping for joy here. Like you make them feel uh, ten, how, how do I want to say that? Anyway, 10 miles high, I don't know. <laughs> you make them feel lighter than air. 
All right, let's see. What do we have for this person over here for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Happy, carefree. Eight of Wands, travel, action, movement, Cupid's arrows with the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. Aquarius, Knight of Swords in reverse. So, you know, they could have been, you know, biding a little time here, not sure what to do. Lovers in reverse. Yeah, they, now you have the lovers, so they have the lovers, but theirs is in reverse. They got the Knight of Swords, but it's in reverse. We had uh, upright for you on the bottom of your deck, and the Knight of Swords in reverse becomes the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest Knight in the deck. But the Eight of Wands are very fast. And that could be Cupid's Arrows. You know, travel, action, movement. The Two of Cups. And I feel like they, you know, I don't want to say it was a long time coming. But maybe this is something they've been wanting to do for a while, was to come forward here. And definitely you're not in a romantic connection with this person. But I'm almost feeling like they're wondering if you feel the same way. Obviously you do, because look at all the cards we had for you. So let's see, we have Aquarius showing up here with the Knight of Swords and Gemini. All right, for Aquarius's person, what else do we need to know? Also, the Lovers in Reverse can be making a clear, because in the regular tarot, it you know, original tarot, it was called the choice. So they made up their mind, they know what they want as well two of pentacles so, so seeming like things were on the fence like not knowing what to do temperance in reverse two cards are like imbalanced like i don't know what to do here three of wands but something could be happening right now not in the near future and the knight of cups is that romance romantic energy is coming in here so yeah two of pentacles out of balance all over the place I, uh, up and down I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know what to do same with temperance reversed the same thing in a way not that's usually about soulmate union so obviously you've never been in a romantic relationship yet with this person but right now it looks like knight of cups something's coming in here romantically so we have Scorpio Sag hmm looks like they're making plans to come in romantically here all right so let's see um what else we need to know about this person strength oh, strong courageous and brave three of pentacles growth and expansion i don't know if you worked with this person or maybe you did it one time doesn't have to be though five of wands reverse which you have it reverse too almost in the same exact spot almost yours is here and there's this here that's crazy Page of Wands can be the good news coming in. Now, you had it in reverse. You had it in reverse. They have it upright. Five of Wands, not, they're not conflicted anymore. If, you know, we want to grow and expand this energy, because they're feeling the energy too, obviously. If we want to grow and expand on this energy, feeling that strong connection, you know, it has to start with communications and sort of offer coming in here with the page of wands and be, being very excited and passionate about it as well. So we have um, Leo and Sag showing up. Strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe in past lives together. Did I meant, did I say something about that earlier that maybe you had a past life with this person? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, strong connection cannot be denied. Sometimes it's about overcoming. So they could be coming over you know getting over or overcoming their energy of like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do and just kind of going for it that's kind of what i see so let's see what else we need to know about this person or aquarius devil in reverse yeah getting over their fear doubt worry five of swords yeah they know that you know they have to come forward or they'll be sabotaged forever queen of swords so they have not told you how they felt that they want the Ten of Cups with you. Oh my God, it could be blending of families here too. You both have the Ten of Cups that opened the reading and now it closes out the reading. Kind of like bookends here, wow. So yeah, they feel that fulfilled, happy, giddy, all my cups are filled kind of energy and it's just from the energy of the connection that you have between each other. They haven't spoke their truth yet, but I like the devil reverse, getting over fear doubt or worry and the five of swords that yeah i can't keep 
self-sabotaging and feeling defeated about this i just have to come forward so we have capricorn libra let's see what's on the bottom of their deck page of pentacles could be that offer a drink a date a coffee wish fulfillment happiness and joy getting a single energy on their side ten of pentacles though this person could be wealthy or they believe in longevity they believe in traditional things like you know relationships family that kind of that may have a strong work ethic as well five of pentacles like we feel a little you know lonely right now page of cups reverse maybe they haven't had love in their life for quite a while four of swords though it was a lot of thinking and contemplating and you know that little bit of holding back here but eight of pentacles is things working out and putting in the work and like i said maybe some of you worked with this person as well and you know page of swords on their side too which is aquarius you have it there definitely you could be checking out each other's uh, social media right now that also could be finally two people coming together and communicating as well but it does look like here there's some sort of offer coming in on their side it's capricorn energy with the page of pentacles it's real it's tangible it's solid and it just could be i feel like a date or a drink or a coffee or something all right let's see so let's get you some whispers of love aquarius if it did resonate or you enjoyed this please do like comment all the great things be greatly appreciated and also my website's down below everything you need to know is on there uh as well as in the description box lots of things as well all right aquarius so we got the whispers of love here so i'm gonna get two for you two for them let's see what's going on love is all around you that's the energy that is the love energy the energy of this love affecting you and affecting them and you feel it and you know it and you sense it 16 7 is a little bit of a, of a challenging energy there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth wow treasure your loved ones it's important to love others deeply 10 completion full circle beginnings you're treasuring this connection and i don't even think you're in like a full-blown relationship connection you probably haven't even started dating yet let's see and their side be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care 45 9 full completion yeah so they're going to make uh, an effort here they're going to show you how much they care about you let's see slow down when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold nine another nine so this person may be you know a little anxious <laughs> to get the ball rolling here i'm just saying and we have love makes the difference love can help heal past hearts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance we have 31 which is for stability foundation so you know confessing um, confessing love or just admitting the feelings and starting to get this connection going those first steps in love are definitely going to make the difference just from bringing it just to an energetic feeling to like a real thing i feel all right aquarius that's what i have for you so i do hope that helped that resonated again everything you need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time